Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a drawing in Google Apps. So um, to get started you want to go to our student page and click on Google Apps. Once you're there you want to log in. So mine's already saved. I'm going to click my account. Remember our at student.g.pasco.k12.fl.us after your lunch number and your password. Once you sign in, it should take you straight to your drive. You can see that right here. If it does not say drive up here, you want to go here by the waffle, I call it, and then select drive. Once you're in Google Drive, you're able to create things. We've learned about how to create folders, documents, presentations, and today we're going to focus on drawing. So if you can click create drawing, um, the drawing is really cool because it gives you the opportunity to create something kind of like a poster. You can add images, text, just like we do on the other options, but you can also add some shapes with text and it looks like a poster. So first things first, I want to give my drawing a title. So I'm going to say Luke or Poster. And remember, this is just the title of your document. So when you're in your drive, you actually can find it by that name. This here is our area that we can create our poster. I want to give my poster a title, so I want to insert what we call word art. Word art makes the text big, so I'm saying I'm doing a poster on dolphins. I just type dolphins in that box and hit enter, and then my title pops up on my poster. I would like my title to be at the top, so I'm just going to click it and drag it. So there's my title for dolphins. Once this is selected, which you know it's selected because it's blue, highlighted in blue, you can do any of these things up here. So I can change the text, make it a little more fancy. I can also change what's the inside of my words. So this color, light blue, I can change. So I think I want to make it a little bit prettier blue for dolphins. And then this is the line color. See there's black around here. I can make it a different color. And I'm going to do a dark blue since I'm all about dolphins. I can also change this size. It's called weight of the line. So watch what I do when I click on the four. The lines get thicker. So the dolphins really stands out with the dark blue. Then there's my title. Now I want to add an image. Remember you can always hit insert to insert anything. A text box, an image, the word art, lines, shapes. But you can also use these icons at the top. So I'm going to use this one, insert an image. And if you remember we can search the internet right here nice and handy dolphins and I can find any picture I like of dolphins and I think I like this one I'm gonna just click on it and hit select and give it a minute and it'll pop into your screen and it does take over your whole poster so you have to remember to resize it grab a corner remember we grab a corner to keep the picture in proportion and I'm just gonna move it to where I think I want it so there's a picture of dolphins. I have my title, I have a picture. Now I need to add my text. So I can add just a text box if I like. If I click that, I get those little crosshairs and I can click and drag to put a box. And I can add my text. can resize my box. I can select my font to be different. Now you don't have to highlight all the font because the box is already selected. So just by clicking on any of these fonts and the size, it will change everything in that box. Okay? Now I want this to be a poster. I want poster should be eye-catching. So this is font. It's pretty. I can change the color of that font, but what I really want to do is change, sorry hold on, this is the font color, so I can change the font color. But I really want to add some like pizzazz, some things that are eye-catching and that's what I was talking about when I said shapes. So I can click here and add a shape and I can click any of these shapes to look to see what you like. There's some things that are like a little banner. So when I find the one I like, if I double click it two times, it just pops on my screen. So I can put that banner there. I can make it, resize it bigger, okay, any way I want. But when I click on it, I can start typing. So now I'm going to add another fact about dolphins. So 
So what's really cool about the poster is that I can add shapes and then my f information can be on the shape and it's a little more eye catching. So by selecting this, I can also change the fill. So I can make it yellow, which is really bright. I can change my font like we've done before. But when you're doing a shape, you have to select the font. It's the only thing because it doesn't know that you're putting font in there. Okay, I'm going to add one more shape. So I'm going to click up here. I'm going to find one I like. I'm going to double click it and it pops there. I'm going to move it and I'm going to add more text. Now I notice as I'm doing this my text isn't fitting so nice so if I make this shape a little bigger the text will kind of fit a little bit better. So now that looks better. I want to change the fill color and I might want to put this kind of over here. I can kind of put things on top of each other. And you can also move things so you can make it look nice things on top of each other okay alright and the last thing I'm going to show you is this background right now is only white if you're printing this out you should leave the background white and the color will come out from the other things but if you're using this just to show people on a computer then you might want to change the background color to make it even more um, colorful and eye-catching now on a Mac computer it's a little tricky to do the background color because you have to do a right click when you're using a laptop there's no mouse if you're using a desktop and you have a mouse you just right click but on a laptop you want to look for the button it's on the bottom row on the left and it's called control if you hold the control button down and then you click your mouse you get what you would get for right clicking and you want to click here for it says background and then you want to select a color and then your backgrounds that color now I'm going to tell you right now, I was playing around with the colors and they're looking a little funky. They don't all go nice together, so you do want to make it appealing to the eye since it's a poster, but I just wanted to show you all the different options you have. So um, here's my poster on dolphins. It's very simple. It's just three little facts. I just wanted to show you the basics. And the most important thing about Google, I want you to remember that everything is saved for you. You don't have to hit save. and You can also access this on any computer, even at home. Okay, so thank you for learning about Google Drawing.